y'all this is dina welcome to my channel y'all i am back tonight still playing with my thermal cinch but um if you just watched my recent video i showed how i binded this little golden book it turned out really well i'm very impressed um but i thought i would use these index cards that i have and make like a little um a small little journal out of this and I'm gonna make um, make a cover front and back, and then add in a few like designer papers in here. This is the collection I'm using. It's a last year's collection, Over the Rainbow, um, by Doodle Puck. I love, love, love rainbows. So let's go ahead and get this started. I took some thin chipboard, and these are cut to four uh, four and a quarter by six and a quarter. My end, the reason I got that is because my index cards are four by six, okay? So that's why I did that. Okay, so I'm going to use, I think I'm gonna use um, this paper right here. I love this one right here, the front. I wish it just didn't have the leprechauns on it, but it's all good. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I think I will use, um, I think I'm gonna make it where it opens up at the top. And so um, I'm gonna need probably, so I'm gonna need, let me just kind of guesstimate measure here. This is about the size I need and an extra inch on the other side. Okay, so let me measure this really fast and I'll tell you, y'all, I'm not the type that keeps up with measurements. I just am bad about that. Okay, so. I'm gonna need to get this one. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna need two. So I'm gonna cut one, another one for the back. So I'm just gonna measure this up. So it's all about going to Hobby Lobby and checking out all the clearance stuff. I'm just gonna bring myself to go. And now it's seven o'clock, so. I'm not going. <coughs> Excuse me. Got a tickle in my throat. Okay. So there's my two pieces. I'll tell you exactly how big they are. So it is about seven, about seven and three fourths by mm, about five and a half. That's about what they are. Okay, so I'm gonna take my two pieces here and I'm going to use, make the rainbow the front and the back. I might make the leprechauns on the outside. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my tape to just adhere this down. I'm gonna go ahead and get this tape on here. I just wanna see all the different ways, and look at that, I did not do that good. Let's fix that. I wanna just see all the different different ways that you can use the cinch, and how well it works with certain certain things. Let me grab my, my little tool here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the tape. And I'm going to center this in the middle. And my my piece of chipboard probably came from scrapbook.com, like around, or like around the paper, on the back of the paper. Okay, so I'm just going to do this. And I'm going to be doing this. And I will put another piece over here on the back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead... And actually, before I do any more, I'm going to go ahead and I'm probably going to do one of these off camera so it doesn't make it too long. But just like you're making an album cover, you're going to just cover this. Add your tape. Trim. Easy, easy. So, one more. Okay, so now I'm going to take it, I'm going to miter my corners. Okay, so there we 
go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. I'm just gonna bring this up over. I like to do my longer sides first. And then I'll do the ends. And then one more. Okay, so there's my there's my cover. I will put a piece over here. I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna cover the other piece of chipboard for the back or the front. I think I'll put the rainbows on the front. I'll put that on the back because I like the rainbows. Um, but anyway, I will um, be back. Be right back. Okay, so I got my other one covered. I went ahead and cut some paper. Um, to cover the other sides. So I'm just going to use this. It's all part of the collection. Turn the pin over there. Okay. I'm just going to use some wet glue. And add my page. And y'all, if you just have little bits of paper like this, you can make like little autograph books. This would be perfect if you're doing like a Disney theme or a vacation theme and you know, they're going on vacation and they could take these with us. So there's that one. So we've got the rainbow one I'm gonna use for the front. And I, this is like very small flowers. I'm gonna use that. A little bit more. Okay. And pressing that down. Okay, so now I have my front and back. So I am going to put like a little um, something on the front, but I'm going to do that after I bind. Let me make sure everything is down really well. This is actually very, very fun. Very fun, y'all. Okay. So let me get my, my pen. Get my glue back over here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to use the index cards. You see how thick this one is? I'm gonna try it. This is 100 cards. I'm gonna also add in a couple pieces Maybe to make a little, maybe divide up some pages or something. These are six by six. I'm gonna cut them down to four by six. Let's see if I can cut them all at the same time. Okay. Let me see how, I guess. I wanna just make sure I'm cutting correctly. So let me just add this at four. Cut. It's pretty thick, but going through that many pages. Let me check here. This one I got to do a little bit more. Okay, so there is that. I'm just going to do them like little dividers. So. Let's open up the index cards. We're going to be brave and go for a thicker one, y'all. If I can get these open. And these are just the regular ruled index cards. Let me throw away the cover. And I'm going to be brave and do them all. I'm just going to do it. I think I'm going to put like the heart on the front. Now, if you have like a tag punch or a, a tab punch, you can do that. I think I have like the tab um, die from Scrap Diva. I could use that. If I made these like for my craft fair, let's do the flowers. Then I would probably use that. But just for the, just to make it look good in the video here and adding a little extra color in here going with it. Okay, so we're going to make sure we're going to keep these together. 
let me go and grab my binding strip. So if you watched my last video, these are the ones I used. Move that over. Let me determine what color I want to use. Let me see what my cover and my front is going to look like. I might have to cut these down. Well, I will have to cut them down, down, but um, I think I might go with this color. Let's go with that one. And y'all, I know it's on just testing out things. Sometimes you might think, oh, that's wasting. But you know, you got to try it out to see how it's going to work. Okay, I'm going to cut this one down. I need this by six. Move over my index cards. They're in my way. Okay, and it's six. Oh, and you remember what I did earlier? If you watched my other video, um, I need to not go all the way to the end because see how that doesn't come to the end. That one doesn't. So I'm going to cut it off. And it, does, it won't cut through this glue strip thing very well. So I have to just take my scissors and trim, which is fine. Okay. Because I want my glue to go to the end. Okay, so this one, I need this by six. how it just cut like that. Okay, cut, cut, cut. My husband started binge watching something, I think on Netflix. He is still there and he's been watching it for a very long time. Okay, so I'm gonna have to grab some more of these glue strips or these little, st I guess that's what they're called before I go cutting things off here. And here they are. And I think that I need to probably add at least two, maybe three. I don't know. I'm gonna go with two because I don't wanna waste it. Because with these, I think this is only a 12 pack. So I don't want to waste. So I think I'm going to add like one there and one on the other side. And it's not going to be long enough for me. Let me see if I can go ahead and get this adhered down. Let me see which side do I cut it from. Oops, there. See how this end right there? I'm gonna trim that because I want my glue to be at the very end. I'm gonna start on this side. You wanna put it right up next to the other one because we're making something with a larger, with a larger spine. Okay, I'm gonna trim this one. Okay, there, made it a little wider. This one is not long enough. I'm saving it for something else. I'm gonna do one more. If I take a few sheets of, of the paper out, I will just because I don't wanna to have to use more than just two of these just for my, my cute little test. Okay, adding this to this other side. Okay, so that gave me a wider spine. Okay, so you see that? Now I'm gonna trim this. Okay, so there's that. So I'm just gonna make it this wide and this is Close, it's about three fourths of an inch. So if I have to take a little bit of my papers out, I will. I just don't want to waste. I don't want to waste all my all my strips here. Okay, let me move these over. Let me see how wide this is. Is this an inch? Okay, it's a little less than an inch. So I'm gonna do I'm just gonna take out a little bit. 
because I want it to be about three-fourths of an inch, but we got to remember the front and back too. They need to, they need to be in there too. So I'm just taking out a little bit, okay? I think that will work. Okay, that'll be around right. So I just took out, I just took this out. It's a little, probably about 15 sheets. Okay, so now I'm going to need to, um, cut this down too because it's going to be too wide. If I went like this, look how far down it would go. I don't want it that far. So I'm going to cut it down. I think I'm going to cut it down to where this glue strip is. I think that that'll work. So I'm going to cut, just cut that glue strip off. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Because I don't want it to totally cover up all my pretty paper. Okay. Now I'm going to go back. So there it is. I'm going to go back and I'm going to add tape to the spine. And then we're going to try to adhere this and see how it goes. I'm going to add my, my tape. And a little more. I'm going to put two pieces on the other side. Y'all, after I finished working, I put my bed sheets on because I washed them. And I did two loads. I've done three loads of laundry and put it away. I feel so accomplished. And I made red beans and rice. Look at that. I need to vacuum my house, but that isn't happening. Not today. Maybe Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to get that pressed down. As you can see, you can see where the little folds already were, but I'm going to have to change that. We're going to have to go, I'm going to go, go ahead and kind of fold it out a little bit. So you can see it's going to be a wider one. Make sure they're both down. And I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off or the paper off my tape on one side. Okay. Okay. This is going to be my back. And this is actually, you know what? I did, I cut my stuff here at, um, I cut it at six by six, which is the paper. And I made this a quarter inch bigger. So it might hang over a little bit, but I'm going to go with it. It's not gonna hang over too bad. Um, if I was making these for a craft fair, I would do better. I will do better. Okay. So I would have need to make it a six and a quarter instead of six because I added that extra bit. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put this right up next to that glue area. And this is okay, it's okay. So I'm going to make sure these are really pressed down well. So now it's going to be that wide. Okay. So ignore this part where I cut it. I'm not going to do another one in waste. These are going to go right up inside and that's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. See that? And that's okay. That's okay. If I wanted to recover it, afterwards like with some designer paper I might do that just to have it covered just since I cut it short okay so I'm gonna see if I got some clips big enough for this to hold it together and then I'll be back okay so I got my my cinch all heating up over here I'm gonna get these all down I found these clips I'm hoping they will work for me so they might not be big enough I'm just going to have to do the best I can here. I hate to have to take anything out because I don't have a bigger clip. Let me look, y'all. Oh, that is not going to work. I had some bigger ones before, but I'm not sure what I did with them. Look, I got a little bunch of paper clips and clips and all kinds of stuff here. I've got a bigger one of these. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. I'll definitely give it a try. Because you need to clip these together. Okay. I'm going to try.
try this one. Let's see if I can get this one because I really think I needed the biggest one. I might not have a bigger enough, big enough one. Okay, I'm gonna stop and get this one, get this clipped. Okay, so I'm going to try this. I had to bunch them like this because I don't have a big enough clip. So I'm gonna put this down here in the spine. I'm gonna hold this down, get this down. And actually, I'm gonna hold it down. I think I'll unclip and make sure my spot, my back piece, and all that, okay. Oopsie, hold on, that's not straight. I need to make sure it's even. If I made these like for a craft fair, I definitely will get bigger clips to hold this down. Okay, so making sure it's pressed all the way down on that glue, okay? You gotta have it where it's flush down on that glue. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, let's bring over my little machine here. Come over here, guy. Girl, I'm not sure what to call her. I think she's a girl. Okay, I'm bringing her over. So sorry it's close. Let me see if I can get you out. Here I go. I'm gonna put it down in there. It's gotta go all the way down, pressing these down. That's working. Okay, so I think I've got it as far as I can get them. Press the timer, we're giving it three minutes. I'll be back in three, okay? So it just beeped. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna reach here, see if I can get this out. Look at that. You can see the glue. Okay, I'm gonna let this completely cool. That's the key, I believe, completely cool. Okay, it's been probably about 10 minutes and I barely can feel any heat on here. I'm not gonna try it out yet until I let it completely cool. But since I did cut it too short, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself a little cover over this. So I just cut a piece of paper the length of my, my, uh, my cover, which is six and a quarter. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna peel this off. I didn't put tape over here because I need to, I need to, I needed to pull this off first. Then I'll add my strip of tape. Okay. And then I'm going to trim. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this one off. Come on. Y'all, I never grow longer nails. I just can't stand long nails. For me, I just don't enjoy them. <laughs> so, sometimes it gets a little hard. Okay, I'm gonna add this over the front. Pressing this down. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the back. Pressing this over here and pressing it. Now, I think I made it a little bit longer in the back, but that's okay. Right. Pressing this down. So see how I've got it covered? See how the paper's up in there? You can kind of see, like I can see right here, I can see how the glue hardened, see that? Hopefully it's not too blurry there. Okay, I'm gonna continue to keep this like this. Not gonna open it yet. I'm gonna go ahead and add something on the front just to kind of make it cute. Yeah, let's see how this is going to work. Uh, what about lucky me? I kind of would go, I think, or it could be like a thank you book. I've got that. I'm just trying to look at the cut of parts. So, what if you wanted it to be like an autograph, autograph book? You could use, for like a birthday or something, you could use that happy birthday. Let's do that. And I think I'll just use my scissors and trim. 
So I'm really hoping everything is hardened really well. Like I said, if you watched my last video with the little golden book, let it completely dry. I think that's the key. Trim, trim. Okay. Let me see how this will work. Okay, I like that. That's not too bad. It needs a layer. It needs a little bit of a layer. So let me let me see here. Hmm. I wonder if I should cut it down just a little bit. This is not even the the best part, y'all. I'm going to just use my trimmer and trim it down a little more. Go down to the top. Trim the sides. Okay, let me grab some paper and layer this up, and then okay, we'll put so it. So I'm going to go ahead. I just added some white behind it. I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. I'm just going to use, use some more tape runner here. I'm just going to add this in the center. get that pressed down okay so just something simple add some other decorations on it it'd be super cute let's try it out okay I'm gonna open it okay it's really really stuck here let me see okay look and the more I work with it the good it is the best it is And look how the spine is bending. Okay, y'all. This is a major win. Major win. I would just kind of work with it slowly. And just, just kind of work it. But as you see, nothing is falling out. Nice. I like it, y'all. The scent, the thermal cinch is a win. It's a it's a big win in my book. And there's so much you can do. Remember the key, let it completely cool down. Don't play with it, don't do nothing. Just press it into that glue and I think it's going to be a great great thing. This is a great tool. This is really really a great tool. Anyway, I hope you guys like this. Um I know that it got a little bit lengthy. Sorry about that. But, you know, sometimes we got to do that. Now, this cute little thing, it would be cute add little tabs on it. So, I got to work on this front part. So, I'm really working. want to work on the front part. Or it might be good to have a score line right there so it would bend up. And I think that that would be a great idea. And it could be not bending well because of the paper I put on there. But... I think it's not too bad. I think it's okay. Look at that, y'all. We got a major book. That's it, y'all. Have a great evening. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, welcome. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I hope you enjoyed this. And um, yeah, if you've been around, I love you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I hope you'll keep coming back. Love you guys. Bye.